I just wanted to show you guys this happy little accident. Look at this. It's a passion flower. Now this is my snake gourd vine. It's my trellis. It's got the snake gourd and it has the uh, the tromboncini on it. And I was suspicious that I had a passion flower vine growing on it because of a fruit I've got hanging on the underside. But look at that beauty. Isn't she gorgeous? The passion flower is actually native here in Tennessee. So this is such a wonderful find for me. And I just really wanted to show you guys that. And here we have one that just finished flowering. So it's exciting. Maybe we'll have a fruit here. Look at that. So this is actually the fruit I was telling you about. And I saw it dangling in here and I was like, that is not what I planted. I'm so excited I'm going to save seeds out of this guy. I don't see any more hanging. Oh, wait, I lied. It's another one. Hanging out up here. They obviously made themselves at home and they're very happy. Let's see if I can find some others. Okay, this time I really don't see any more. But they are really quite happy up here. I don't see any more flowers. Of course, it's impossible to see them from the underside. But to have two passion fruit fruits on a trellis where I didn't even plant them and they just kind of came up by themselves, made themselves at home. I've been wanting to harvest some of the native passion flowers so that I could cultivate them in my garden. Oh, wait a second, what's that up there? And then up here, we have yet another. Here's the other two, there's one here and one here and then this little guy hanging out up here. So here's to hoping that we get some seeds out of these and we can replant them because passion flowers are just gorgeous. I love them so much and maybe I'll even have enough to share with some of my subscribers once they're ready to go.